Okay, good day, Mr. Now. Um, today we are going to be uh, in our calculation in physics. We are going to be dealing on motion. So today we are going to be dealing on motion one. Now we all know that motion has three formulas in calculating motion, which we have the first. We have this is the first equation for calculating motion. Then we have the second one, which is. This is the equation 2 in calculating motion. So we have the third one, which is So these are the three equations for calculating motion. So the first one we have is that velocity is equal to initial velocity. The final velocity is equal to the initial velocity plus acceleration times time. So this is the first formula for calculating motion. Then the second one is the distance is equal to the initial velocity times time plus what plus half times acceleration and t square, which is the time. Then the third one, the third equation, we have it at v square is equal to the u square plus 2as. So this is x. This is x. So now if that be the case, so that let's know the proof. Let's prove this particular equation. Let's prove it. Now, proving this particular equation, we are going to start with the equation 1. So, we are going to start with the equation 1, proving the equation 1. So, proving this equation 1, we all know the acceleration is equal to velocity, change in velocity all over time. So, we have it as like this. So, this is acceleration, which is equal to change in velocity, which V is the final velocity, then U is the initial velocity all over the time taking. So if that be the case, we, want, we are going to make V the subject of the formula. Making V the subject of the formula, now we now have it as, so that means we are going to cross multiply, which is, that means V minus U times 1, which is still going to give us V minus U. The a times t, which is going to give us a t. So if that be the case, we now have it that. So we want to make a v the subject of the formula. That means this u will jump equal sign. So we now have it that v minus u plus u, which is equal to u plus a t. This minus u minus u plus u is going to cancel each other because minus plus is still the same thing as zero. So we cancel both sides. This cancel this. So we now have it as V is equals to U plus A C. So this is the first equation in calculating motion. So if that be the case, we are going to move to the second equation. I hope I can use it. So okay, let's draw in line here. So this is the first equation. We have gotten the first equation. Moving straight to the second equation, we know that distance covered, sorry, average velocity, is equals to, average velocity is equals to u plus v all over 2. So we have it as, This is the formula for calculating average velocity. So, and we also know that distance covered, distance covered, um, this is distance, this is distance. So, the distance covered, is equal to average velocity, times, So the distance covered is average velocity times time, and which we know, recall, recall, average velocity, let me put it this way, so this is 
average velocity. So if average velocity is equal to, if distance covered is equal to average velocity times time, so we can represent that formula as, we can represent the formula for distance covered as the time. So this is the formula for calculating distance covered. So in that case, so let's substitute. Now recall, recall also recall also that from our equation one, from our equation one or from here, which we know that velocity is equal to initial velocity plus a times t. So from our equation one, recall from our equation one, v is equal to Okay. So recall that V is equal to U plus A. So let's say that this is equation one and this is equation two. Let us name it as equation one. And this is equation two. So we can impute equation two into equation three so that we can be able to get our thick our second formula, our second equation of motion. So let's try it. So which we know that V is equal to V is equal to U plus A T. So oh, oh, sorry. Impute. So we are going to impute equation 1 into equation 2. So imputing equation 1 into equation 2, we now have it. Wherever we see V, we substitute it with this. Any place we see V in the equation 1, we uh, represent it with this particular equation. So let's do it. Now, if you look at equation 1, Equation 1, here is V. So in the place of V, we are putting U plus AT. In the place of V, we are putting what? U plus AT. So we have it at all bracket. Okay. So if that be the case, now in this particular decision, we, we can collect lightness in the brackets, which we have it as X is equals to u plus u give us what 2u then plus 80 now when you come to this point you should be smiling because you are coming to the end of your equation solving the um, proving this uh, equation too then we are going to break this down further we are going to expand the bracket, open the bracket. We are going to open the bracket. That means we are using this t to multiply everything inside the bracket, which is t will multiply to u, which will give us then t will also multiply a t, which will give us plus a t squared. R over 2. Sorry for the brackets. We are using this, uh, this part of the problem. So we, we, we have arrived at this particular point, then we move to the next point of it. So we can break this thing down, which is simply, we can break this uh, equation down. Breaking it down, we still have it as This is still the same with this particular equation. It's still the same. So it's still the same. Which this now we are going to um, break down. We are going to break it down a little bit further. Now yeah, we have two. It's going to cancel two. So here is indecible one. So this two is going to cancel two. Okay. So let's proceed.
Okay, so this is it. this is the equation. So we can also write it in this other form, which is simply as x So the, the two equations are correct. Either you write it in this form or this form. Both of them are also correct. So we are going to move to the third equation so that we are going to okay. So we are going to move straight to equation three. So we are going to prove the equation three. Proving the equation three using our distance cover, the formula for our distance cover, which is Okay, let's say that this is equation one. Now we all know the formula for calculating acceleration. We say that action acceleration is now making t the time taking the subject to the formula, making the time taking the subject to the formula. So we can cross multiply to make t the subject to the formula, which is okay. Yes. So we now have it when you cross multiply, you have it as our seven for the mistake. So we now have it that b is v minus u is equals to a t. But in this particular case, we want to make t the subject of the formula. Making t the subject of the formula, we now have it as we are going to divide both sides by a. Dividing both sides by a, we are going to arrive at this. Let's divide both sides by a. Divide both sides by a. So when we divide both sides by a, this a is going to cancel this a. So we now have it at t So we now have it at t is equal to v minus u all over a. So we are making uh, t the subject to the formula. Making t the subject, we can say that this is equation 2. We can name this as equation two. Okay, so this is our equation two. So in this case, we can impute impute equation. So imputing equation two into equation one. So we now have it as. So in place of t, in place of a t here, we are going to substitute t to this. So we are going to use this in place of t, which we have it as bracket. We are going to open another bracket, which is, I mean, this is 2, and this is a. So we are cutting this. So we are going to use, in expanding this, uh, in opening of this bracket, we have it as this is going to multiply this, and this is also going to multiply this. Why this u is going to multiply the u and the u is also going to multiply the u. So in that case, we have it as okay. So we have it as this multiplied by this. We have it as u to v. This multiplied by this, we are going to have it as plus v square. Then minus multiplied by the plus here, we are going to have it as um, plus sorry minus u u sorry okay this multiplied by this you're going to have it as v square this multiplied by this you're going to have it as minus u v so if that be is and 2 multiplied by a we are going to have it as 2a so if that be the case we are going to collect like terms collecting of like terms we have it as x is equals to u minus u v then plus v square minus v square all over two a. So if that be the case, we have it as u v minus u v, which we all know that is going to cancel. They are going to cancel each other because one minus one is going to give us zero. So these two are going to cancel each other. With they cancel each other, we are going to be left with x is equal to um v square minus u square over 2a. So in that you can see we are getting close to the to the to the third equation in calculating motion. So in that we have it as x. So when we are going to, we are going to cross multiply, 
Why do you curse and multiply? Because you want to make B the subject of the formula. Making B the subject of the formula, so you curse and multiply. In curse and multiply, we have it as P squared minus U squared is equal to this multiplied by this. We are going to have it as 2AX. So this is X, so you call it here, should I write it in a different time? Uh, I think it's better now. So now, we are going to, in this particular case, we want to make B the subject of the formula. Making B the subject of the formula, so this is going to cross equal sign. That means it's going to go to this particular spot. It's going to jump this equal sign. And we know when a minus jump equal sign, it changes to positive. So this plus here, when it jump equal sign, it's going to change to positive. Changing it to positive, we now have it as 2B squared. B squared, sorry, is equal to So you can see that we have gotten the three equations in calculating motion. The first equation, the second equation, and the third equation. In, in our next episode, we are going to um, do more calculations. We are going to go straight into calculation in this part, using this particular equation. So ensure you like the video and also subscribe so that you get more updates. And you can also follow us on Facebook. You can join the YouTube uh, 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 WhatsApp family our Facebook family so that you become part of the conversation. And when you if you have any question you can drop it in the comment box and we assure you that we are going to attend to it.